All right, so I'm going to go out on a limb and label this phone the most controversial phone I've ever purchased and ever read about online. Um, second, I'm going to apologize for this blue background because I'm still doing uh, renovations on the house. So I had to find a little spot to shoot my videos while the floor is being torn apart and the walls are <laughs> all over the place. But I'm sitting around right now for a moment and I thought, you know what? It's time for my full review of the LG G5. This phone right here, like I said before, is one of the most controversial phones I have ever, ever dealt with. Um, this is innovation. So just this alone makes this phone a controversial piece. Um, the device itself has everything a person could possibly want. Bumpy cam. It has a removable battery. It has an SD card. It has uh, a great camera. It has a wide angle camera on the back. This is boss. Fingerprint reader that doubles as a power button. Uh, as you can see, you have the removable battery and it's modular, partial modular, it slides out of the bottom. This is all great new technology, new to the market. As you can see, I bought the gold one here and I'm still pretty excited about having the gold one. I, I didn't see very many gold ones online and I thought, man, I gotta get this gold one. I've always wanted to put, I never put this back in without the battery, so didn't know what would happen, but yeah. Um, this battery is 2,800 milliamps and it is really, really good. So, now when I say it's really, really good, yeah, that kind of means that it's gonna take you through a day. All right, now battery's out of the way. Point is, it's a good battery. In my usage with heavy use, I got four and a half to five hours, and that's what heavy use. So, uh, this is good. Let's talk about the design. So, you all know this is my second unit. The first one has some warping by the camera, and that was just because of the materials they use for the paint. This isn't all metal design, but LG chose to use a special overlay to change the color of the devices with the paint. It is what it is. It's one of those love or hate things. Either you're going to gripe about it, or you're just going to go ahead and buy it and call it a day. So, you see what I did. I bought it. The design of this uh, has this removable battery. It's push button. It goes like this. And then you pop the battery in like this. And it's a good, a good solid. It gives it some, some heft. It's still lightweight though. But along from the chipping pe people thought was chipping, these are actually antenna lines. And I think they did a good job at hiding them, man. They're on the sides down here on the bottom too, and then they're on the top right here. I pointed that out in my first impressions video. Now, also for the battery with this modular portion, there was a gap right here. Now, my second unit here, as you can see, I don't have anything. And it does look like there's like this little bumpiness in the design there of the, of the body. But it's nothing that I'm just going to just gripe about because you're, I can tell with this device, I'm not going to get a perfect um, build in this area because it's, it, they know that this is going to be an active area. So with that being said, this is good enough for me. There's no warping, there's no gap, and I'm getting my money's worth. I feel I am. Uh, the fingerprint reader and power button double, and it's a little give. But it's just because that's the fingerprint reader and the power button, so they have to have something. You don't actually have to push this to light the screen up and then have it touch for the for the um, fingerprint to unlock. Uh, you just kind of lay your finger on it and it unlocks. 8 megapixel and a 16 megapixel. The 8 megapixel is for wide angle use, um, and it is good. This front slab here, I like the design of this because it has a, like a dual curve. It curves here and it curves here. Uh, and um, you've got this great um, camera on the front, really good. Check out my um, uh, video I did on the front camera. It is very solid. I also did a full battle with this against the uh, Note 5 as well. Great camera. So um, the LED tone uh, flash on here, uh, the the camera itself, the 8 megapixel camera itself, it's not something that is going to blow your mind because it's still the fantastic camera, the 16 megapixel camera, I'm sorry. The 16 megapixel camera on here is pretty much the same camera that's in the V10. So this won't come as a surprise to you if you've used the V10. Check out my reviews on the V10. 
killer camera. The camera on the V10 murdered almost everything except for the Samsung Note 5. Um, but overall, this device is one that's... Um, it's kind of a, one of those things where you're just going to have to to buy it and you will see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to turn on privacy real quick so people don't bother me. Um, anyway, um, I've been extremely impressed with this device. I've got tons of cases. I've done reviews on it already. I've got a lot of cases on this. And stay, stay tuned for giveaways for the cases because, as you know, I don't hold on to that stuff. I give it all away. Share the love. Uh, but, um, here it's flashing. Um, as you can see, you can set the LED to flash when you get text messages and stuff like that. So, um, I'm impressed. Um, the screen on here is a quad HD display. It's a 5.3 inch display. Let's talk about the basics of what you would actually get a phone for because it's a phone. It's the call quality. The call quality on this device over T-Mobile's LTE network is flawless. I mean, it's, I always was on an HD call. All my calls were HD calls with pretty much everybody. This phone also has the advanced um, voice services where it's called EVS where you get a really, really, really good service and voice calls. All right. So... Once again, the call quality is good. Sorry there's some breaks in this video because I'm trying to record when I can and I had to step away for a second. But call quality on here is great. Like I was saying, T-Mobile has the EVS for this phone and the Samsung Galaxy S7 and 7 Edge in a software update. But this phone, it comes equipped with it. And you can tell because this phone, your, all, all of my calls are HD calls. And even if the other person does not have HD capabilities, it still comes across as HD for me, and it is crystal clear. Let's talk about the speaker quality on this little speaker right here. This little speaker um, is a single firing on the bottom, but this speaker is louder. Now, it's obviously it's going to be louder than a waterproof device, so it's much louder than the S7 Edge and the S7. Stay tuned for my review on the S7, believe it or not. Yes, I will review it and the iPhone SE. Uh, but this speaker right here is loud. It's louder than my iPhone speaker. And the iPhone speakers have loud speakers. Now, it's not louder than a front-facing speaker, but it is loud enough to where it'll blow your socks off. Now, that I can confirm. And if you have um, the uh, G5, uh, I think you'll be pretty happy. And you can confirm that this speaker is one of the loudest speakers you will ever find on a smartphone. Um, other than that, man, I think day-to-day -day use, performance and everything, um, I've covered a lot of things in, uh, in individual videos. I try to use the device for a little bit before I do a full review. And, you know, and when I get a phone, if you know my pattern, I'll do separate little small videos. So you don't have to sit through a very long, drawn-out video or 45 minutes. But I've got lots of videos up on this device. This Again, this device is one of the most controversial devices I've ever had to deal with people have so much to say about it and uh, a lot of people won't buy it so uh, nonetheless i've been pretty happy with this device and is it better than someone asked me are you going to battle it against the s7 edge no i'm not are you going to battle it against the note no i'm not are you going to battle it no i'm not going to do that this phone is in a category of its own because it's the first modular device and it offers some things that other phones don't offer. Yeah, it has a smaller battery, uh, but it has a removable battery. It has Quick Charge 3.0, I believe it is. And let me tell you, this phone can charge from 0 to 100 in less than an hour and 20 minutes. I've done it. I do it all the time. Now, with that being said, I do have to charge this device probably at least once in the day. But the good part is I don't have to leave it on the charger all day. I can actually put it on the charger for like 15 minutes and that will boost it all the way up to like 40% depending on where I'm at or maybe even 60 depending on where I'm at. So I think you'll be happy with this, this device overall. I think that it looks beautiful. Uh, it brings a lot to the table. I even used the IR blaster, man. I was checking out everything. Um, it's just a good phone. Uh, and, and I would tell people who are contemplating not buying it because of what they see on the internet, I say, They've got companies have great return policies. Go buy it. Go buy it and find out for yourself whether or not you're going to like it or not. Take it home. Use it for about 
10 days and then they'll give you enough time to return it if you want to or exchange it or whatever so it's your man Jay Will. Uh, this is my full review. A little different this time because, again, my situation. I'm trying to give this to you in the middle of our house renovations. Uh, and I want to move on to another device to review that I've been waiting to review. I've got some unique devices coming in. They should be here um, in the next week or so, or next few days. But I, I'm going to be I'm going to be traveling, actually. After the renovations are done, I have to go take a flight out and take care of some business for the church. And I'll be gone for a little bit, so I might do some updates here and there, but you won't see any videos um, after um, Monday. So uh, I just probably won't put up any videos because I'll be dealing with the church and everything, and I'll be out traveling. But I'm excited to bring you my full review for the G5 finally. I held off as long as I could because I, you know I was just kind of reading things online about this device and watching other bloggers' reviews of this. And pretty much they're right on point with mine. It's a fantastic device. Once you can get past the controversies that you hear and read online, it's kind of silly. Just ignore those and go get it yourself. Give yourself a chance with this device. It's your man Jay Will. This is the LG G5. I think you'll be happy if you decide to go pick it up. Take care.